Airline Apps has redesigned the certificates and ratings section in a way that will help both pilots and recruiters. Historically, the Airline App system was originally built around the multi-engine rating. However, the new design will not only provide single-engine operators better fidelity, it also allows progressing pilots to enter their licenses and ratings as they achieve them in succession. After logging into the system, applicants are taken to the general page located under My Account. There, they will see the notice, Certificates Need Updating. That notice contains a link directly to the new certs and ratings section. You'll notice the first tab, Certificates, is selected by default and begins the process after clicking on the Add Certificate button. Next, enter the information exactly as you see it on your license. In this demonstration, we'll select Airline Transport Pilot. After entering your certificate number, click the calendar icon to select the year, month, and date your certificate was issued. The drop-down for school type allows you to list the school's designation. The school option will begin searching as you type. If your school's name appears, please select it from the predictive search results drop-down. If it's not listed, you can type your school's name and simply click the Next button. Select the respective category and class issued with your certificate. Next, add any applicable privileges. Since this example is for an ATP Aircraft Multi-Engine Land Certificate, we'll add a commercial single-engine land privilege. Note, since an instrument rating is required for an ATP, it does not appear as an option on the privileges page in this example. Additional privileges can be added as necessary. The type ratings entry contains the FAA's list of standardized type ratings. Similar to the school name's predictive search, begin by typing any portion of the aircraft designation. If the typed entry deviates from the FAA's listing, the correct format will appear next to Did You Mean? While selecting from the standardized suggestion is optimal, in the unlikely event your aircraft isn't listed, you have the ability to add your entry exactly as you typed it. The limitations section allows you to enter any applicable limitations listed on your license exactly as they appear. Additionally, if you have a restricted ATP, you have the option of selecting the checkbox to automatically insert the default restricted ATP verbiage. The next page presents a summary of all the details you've entered. Any modifications can be made by using the back button. If the summary looks correct, Selecting the Save button will enter your certificate details. The Medical tab also begins by clicking the Add Medical Certificate button. The following page allows the appropriate class selection or none in the event you don't currently have an FAA medical. After selecting the class, the following page allows you to select the date of your medical exam along with any medical limitations. The Written Exam tab now allows applicants to select from the entire list of FAA exams. Certain abbreviated codes have been added to the search function, which allows you to search by popular abbreviations, such as PPL, ATP, CFI, etc. The FCC Radio tab allows you to enter the date of your FCC license issuance. Finally, the Miscellaneous tab contains options for A&P, Dispatch, and Flight Engineer. After you've finished re-entering your certificates and ratings information, you can review your entries by clicking on the Certificates tab. 
As always, if you have any questions while navigating the new certificates and ratings section, please don't hesitate to contact us at support at airlineapps.com.